But yesterday, instead of being productive in any capacity, I decided to binge watch the new Fallout TV series. I was surprised with how good it is. Everything though so far has been so good. I like the main character. I like how her eyes are really those big like, you know, those big eyes. Fallout's one of my favorite games of all time. It is very gruesome. That is another thing. It is extremely gruesome. I was not expecting that at all. The episode I just watched, episode six, has many a topless ladies. So I also wasn't expecting that. So start with episode six. No, <laughs> no. I'm spoiling this whole TV series for you guys. I'm sorry. You also see all the drugs from Fallout in the game too. To be fair, the Fallout games are pretty gruesome. They are. When I was watching Fallout, the vault dwellers remind me of Mormons. That's kind of weird to say, but like, if you watch it, you'll probably understand what I mean. When I was watching it, like, all of the Fault Dwellers reminded me of the Mormon community. And, like, watching Fallout, the TV series, actually kind of reminds me of myself a little bit. Because, cause, like, she comes out of the vault, right? And then she's in the, she's in the wasteland. And I feel like that was my experience, leaving Utah and going into the real world, is... I kind of felt like that too. Kind of felt like that for me, where it was like, I came from, like... I came from the vault and then I left Utah and it was kind of like finding out that it's like a really crazy and cruel world out there. Utah's a very big bubble. Going to Korea, I had less culture shock than when I went and visited Florida. When I went from Utah and I visited Florida, it was like that. I, I went to Florida, I visited Florida, I was only there for like, I don't know, a couple or like a week or something. And I was like, oh my gosh, the world is not like Utah. We're not in Utah anymore, boys. And like, there were just small things that shocked me. Like, in Florida, a lot of the convenience stores had like bulletproof glass and like bars. And then the only way to like get snacks and stuff is you'd have to go up to the window. And it was like a bank where they had like, you put the money in, they take the money, they give you the item like that. Because I guess, I don't know, it's for their safety. And I'm just like, that um, is so intense to me because in Utah, I would walk alone at night at like two in the morning. It's so safe where I'm from. Every night, like, cause I used to work out and I would walk from my home. I'd walk a few miles, two, 3 a.m., come back home. And then like, it's perfectly safe. I would never worry about anything happening to me. One time a lady stopped by and was like, can I give you a ride somewhere? Are you walking? Like, did your car break down? And I was like, oh no, I'm fine. I'm just walking for exercise. And then she was like, oh, good for you. Bye. And then I was like, okay, bye. <laughs> you weren't walking in Florida in the summer, were you? I was. Well, I, so I walked to the gas station at night in Florida. And then that's when I went to that convenience store. And then like I saw it was all barred up and locked. And then the guy there was like, you shouldn't be outside at this time like he was like pretty much like are you crazy what are you doing outside at night and i was like it's not safe to be outside at night what's wrong with being outside at night and he was like go back to your hotel right now you find too much negative energy in big cities interesting i find it the opposite usually when i'm walking around in big cities so you just smile wave hi to people they wave back when someone smiles back at you when you smile at them it's like a euphoric feeling in your heart. Like you're just walking, you like see, you make eye contact with another human. You like, you just do like a little smile and then they smile back at you. And then you're like, my whole day is made. Just that one little contact smile. I'm like, oh my gosh, is this what drugs feel like? It was amazing. <laughs>